as you get ready to apply to medical school, it is important to stay organized. Applicants don't always maintain a structured medical school application timeline, which then results in a late medical school application or secondary application submission and poor admissions results. In this video, I will suggest an ideal timeline for applying to medical school. This timeline starts in January, the year before you plan to start medical school. Let's get started now. My name is Dr. Jessica Friedman. I am an emergency physician, former medical school admissions officer, faculty member, and founder of Med Edits Medical Admissions. I am also the author of two top-selling books about the medical school admissions process, which you can find on Amazon. Based on my experience on an admissions committee and with Med Edits Medical Admissions, I know that those students who are organized tend to do better in the medical school admissions process. Keep in mind, the timeline I am about to present is the ideal timeline, but can vary depending on the individual student. Starting in January through March of your application year, I suggest you start by doing two things. First, create or update your CV or resume. Most of your letter writers will ask for a copy, so you want to make sure you have one ready to go. Second, make an appointment with your pre-med office or advisor. It is very important to have your pre-med advising office invested in your application process since they will be responsible for sending in your letters of reference and advocating on your behalf should that become necessary. If you haven't done so already, begin conversations with letter writers and follow your school's letter of evaluation process. Submitting late letters of reference is one of the main reasons medical school application review is delayed. Therefore, the earlier you speak with your letter writers, the more likely your letters will be submitted on time. Familiarize yourself with the application service you will be using by reading online guides and manuals. The three application systems are AMCAS for U.S. Allopathic Medical Schools, AA Comus for U.S. Osteopathic Medical Schools, and TMDSAS for the majority of medical schools in Texas. Also, start researching medical schools using the Medical School Admissions Requirements or MSAR on the AAMC website. Finally, start to work on your medical school personal statement or statements and application entries. You can reference our videos and articles about all application components, which are linked below. If you have your MCAT scores, start creating your medical school list. Ideally, you should take the MCAT by April so you know your score when you apply. However, many successful applicants take the MCAT exam in June. I will talk about this more in a bit. May is a big month in the medical school admissions process because the three main application systems, AMCAS, AA Comus, and TMDSAS, open this month. In May, it is advisable to complete the application and biographical information as soon as the systems open. Make sure you complete each section carefully and that you have copies of your transcripts by your side since writing all of your coursework information accurately is a key step to make sure there is no delay in application processing. There are a few other essential steps to complete in May. Finalize your personal statement or statements and application entries. Make sure you request transcripts as soon as application systems open. Request that letters of reference are submitted early. Follow up with letter writers who haven't yet submitted letters of reference. Be sure to thank letter writers who have already submitted letters of reference. Late letters of reference and transcripts are the two things that delay application processing the most. Only if you have time, start pre-writing secondary essays, although this is not necessary to be successful in the process. Finalize your medical school list, assuming you have your MCAT scores. And remember, you must also release your MCAT scores. In May, you can actually submit your AA Comus and TMDSAS applications. Therefore, we suggest you submit those applications as early as possible. AMCAS typically opens the very end of May or in early June. It is really, really important to submit your AMCAS application when the system opens or sometime in the month of June. Why is this? First of all, 
Application processing and verification takes less time earlier in the application season. For example, in the first week of June, processing can take a week, whereas in July or August, processing can take up to four weeks or more. Also, medical school interview invitations are extended on a rolling basis, so you are competing with fewer applicants for more interview slots the earlier you submit your application. Take your final MCAT by June, which is the latest we recommend taking it. However, if you take the MCAT in June, keep in mind that you should still submit your application as early as possible, and you will be submitting your application without knowing your MCAT scores. While not ideal, we work with many students every year who take the June MCAT and are successful in the process. As soon as you submit your primary application, start working on secondary essays using previous year's prompts. You can find all of those prompts on our website. If you are taking a June MCAT, start working on secondary essays as soon as your MCAT is done. The fourth week of June is a very important week because this is the week that MCAT starts sending verified applications to medical schools. At this time, you will start to receive secondary applications. If you have pre-written secondary essays, be sure to check that prompts haven't changed. Also make sure that transcripts and letters of reference have been received. If your letter writers haven't sent in letters yet, give them a little nudge. Always thank your letter writers via email is fine once they have submitted a letter of reference. In July, you should continue working on secondary applications and essays. Some students are under the impression that secondary essays must be submitted within two weeks of receipt. Based on the volume of secondary essays you will need to complete, we find this is unrealistic and results in students sending in mediocre essays. Be sure to take the time you need to submit quality secondary applications. Ideally, you should submit all of your secondary applications by mid-August and by Labor Day at the latest. In July, consider starting to prepare for medical school interviews as well. My book, The Med Edit's Guide to the Medical School Interview, is a great place to start. You can find it on Amazon. You may start to receive medical school interview invitations as early as August. Continue working on secondary essays. Continue preparing for medical school interviews. October 15th is a big date because for medical schools with rolling admissions, this is the earliest date you can receive an acceptance. In October, we can also consider sending any updates you might have to medical schools. From September to March, go on medical school interviews, send updates to medical schools to boost your chances of an interview if you have something new to report. Consider sending in additional letters of reference if you have any, and send a letter of intent to your top choice medical school if you are waitlisted there. In February, if you don't have any medical school acceptances, start strategizing for a reapplication. March is an important month because for more competitive medical schools without rolling admissions, acceptances are extended in March. At this time, you want to consider all of your pending offers. If you are considering financial aid or have been offered scholarships, you can negotiate with medical schools who haven't made good offers. April is also a big month because if you are holding multiple acceptances, you must choose one school by April 30th. However, you can remain on alternate lists and can accept a spot from an alternate list until you matriculate in a medical school. Finally, in July or August, you will start medical school. I realize that this timeline might seem like a lot of information, but as long as you stay organized, you won't feel so overwhelmed during the application year. We hope that you will partner with us as you start your journey into medicine. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel, comment about what you think are the most challenging aspects of the process, and ask any questions you might have. We will be sure to respond promptly. And, Good luck on your path to medical school.